Good morning, Internets. Today is day three of my journey towards Arizona, and today I'm headed towards Monument Valley and Sedona. Right now, I'm in Mexican Hat, Utah, and yesterday there was a uh, snowstorm that came through, and it looks like it's just been slowly snowing all night. Looks like you can barely even see the, uh, the Mexican Hat that I was showing you guys yesterday. It's all fogged over. Hoping it isn't as uh, foggy and snowy as I head south. Because as I go into Monument Valley, I'm going to really want to check out those pretty views. Alright, well, I'm going to go and make myself some breakfast, find Boone, he's running around in the snow out here somewhere, and get moving. Just about ready to roll towards AZ, and it looks like I'll get to see the Mexican hat just barely before I go. On the road, but today I'm flying blind at least for a little bit. I've been without cell signal for the past uh, 12, 14 hours, ever since I got like into Utah really. That's why I didn't even get a chance to post my video for yesterday until today, but I got no map, <laughs> no GPS. All I know is I'm headed south on the same road that I was headed before, and I'm hoping I'll get the service soon. So I'm headed towards Monument Valley, which is supposed to be one of the prettiest roads in the country to drive down with these really scenic vistas of these big rocks, towering rocks that are the monuments. I've seen it in like John Wayne movies, Western movies, a bunch of movies. People drive down this road. Um, but it is foggy as heck. And with these weather conditions, I'm not going to get to see anything and I'm kind of sad. But uh, I got maybe 15 miles to go, hoping it clears up before then, but I'm not holding my breath. Stopped at the first scenic view, and unfortunately, it is not very scenic today. It is really nothing but fog. So, I'm coming up on Monument Valley, and traffic is totally stopped because this road is a complete sheet of ice. I know, I was slipping and sliding around a couple places, had me white knuckling, grabbing that steering wheel. Uh, but, I'm stuck with an incredible view. Uh, it doesn't look like I'll be stuck for too long, but while I am, check this out. Looks like a school bus slipped off the road or something. I can't tell. I guess I might go up there and find out. Okay, well, people are starting to get out of their cars and walk around, so I'm gonna do the same. Looks like here comes back up. school bus out of the snow. So, update. I guess there's a truck in a ditch up here too. A couple vehicles slipping and sliding on all this ice. Uh, I guess the traffic is held up because one, they want to get that truck out of the ditch and two, waiting for the sun to clear these big rocks so it can start melting the ice on the road and make it a lot safer to drive. Okay, looks like they're finally gonna let us go now. Wow, just wow. I'm right past the accident now, and check out these amazing views.
wild. I've been here for 10 minutes and the fog's gone. at John Wayne's old cabin up in Monument Valley in Utah. I got a buddy that goes by John Wayne. What's up brother? This is for you. That has to be one of the prettiest roads I've ever driven on in my entire life. That was going down through Monument Valley on Highway 163 South in Utah. And that drive is the whole reason I went that way and went through that snowstorm and all that stuff is because I wanted to go down through that little section of road and look at all those amazing rocks. And man, am I so glad that that fog lifted uh, it lifted right after where that accident was, actually. I'm glad everybody in the accident was okay, I believe. Uh, it was just, you know, cars slid off the road, basically. Uh, they had to get them towed out of the ditch. But, uh, you know, it worked out really well because it helped me up a little bit. Let the fog burn off a bit while I was there. And as soon as I cleared past there, like I said, like a quarter mile, it was just those incredible views. That was, yes, one of the best drives I've ever taken. Well worth the detour and the cold and all that stuff. This is the good about RV living right here, man. Nothing better. All right, time to fuel up and uh, head south into Arizona. Um, uh, actually, I think I'm already into Arizona. Haven't had service for a long time, so it didn't uh, alert me or anything like that. I didn't see a sign or anything, but uh, I think I'm in Arizona now, actually. And I'm heading down to Sedona, which is supposed to be another really pretty place. So let's gas up, keep going. So I'm driving down the highway in Arizona, and look, I see a mountain in the distance. Like, it even looks like it has snow on the top. Honestly, I had absolutely no idea that Arizona even had mountains like this uh, that could have snow or a mountain at all. I just had big rocky buttes or canyons and stuff like that. I don't know. Looks like I'm heading towards it. Let's see what it's all about. I just stopped at this gas station just to stretch my legs, take Boone out for a walk here for a minute. But I'm half tempted to buy a sheep. See that little pink sign? We got sheep for sale over there. That's awesome, man.
Alright, made it to my spot. I am just below Flagstaff, Arizona, in the Coconino National Forest. How about that mountain that I drove past? Man, that's freaking crazy. I'm gonna see if I can drive or get up to the top of that thing somehow. I'm gonna go check out Sedona maybe tomorrow or the next day. Uh, also gonna try and do a hike near the Grand Canyon. Uh, but I actually unhitched here this time, didn't leave the truck attached to the trailer. So I'm going to camp here probably for a couple days and explore this uh, Flagstaff, Grand Canyon, Sedona area. It's going to be pretty cool. I am uh, in the middle of the National Forest, like I said, and it's a lot more wooded than I expected. I don't know if you can see this well or not. Shine a flashlight on some trees. But, yeah, it's pretty foresty. I'm excited to see what this place looks like in the daytime. I got here just as dusk was setting in. Uh, backed into this crazy spot. Uh, looks really cool. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I'm gonna turn in probably here kind of soon. Gonna make some food as usual. Uh, do some nightly things. Uh, maybe do a little cleaning inside and and have a night and get ready for tomorrow. So, uh, thanks for watching. Cheers, everybody. This has been an awesome freaking day. Monument Valley, especially. I'll never forget that. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Gonna be hitting this area a whole bunch over the next couple days, having a good old time. So. See you later, y'all.